everybody. Welcome to Powerful Impact. This is SP. We have Morgan in the house. Hey, SP. How are you? I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have our special guest, Homeboy Sandman. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great, SP. What up, Morgan? I'm, uh, I'm happy to be in the house for the 60th episode. You know, the big 6-0. Yeah, we've been look. We've been so looking forward to this. We, um, Neb has has talked about you ever since I can, since I met him, and he introduced me to your music. So this is definitely a pleasure. Hold up, hold up! Big shout to Neb for spreading that word. He's off camera right now, but you yeah, know, say big up to him, big up to him too. Thank you, man. Kaboom! So we're just going to um start light for those people who don't know you where are you from and how does that affect the way that you make music i think i think my 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 first you know the neighborhood i grew up is very diverse had a lot of diversity and options in terms of music mm -hmm. um so i really could have chosen to be down with house music freestyle music hip-hop music jazz music salsa music or any type you know there was all types of music and um so i think that the diversity and variety um was, was cultivated uh by my beginners in in in, in elmhurst queens did that uh have any influence on the name you picked where did that come from um Nah, that, that come from a lot of different places. Um, I found out that that you know a lot of times uh, I'll write a rhyme without being sure what it means and find out later. Sometimes I even do a whole song without really being aware of it of what it's about and find out later. You know, it's kind of communication. Um, you know, so so don't, the name uh, I, I found out after the fact um what it really meant but i don't yeah I, I, it kind of because you know home is the first section of it home you know that's just where i come from so yeah you know the home is you know where i begin boy you know I was, I'm, I'm a beginner as a boy homeboy you know what i'm saying i begin but then the sand you know signifies uh time you know the sands of time and, and it signifies journey you know footprints in the sand and through that journey, I become a man, you know what I'm saying? So homeboy saying, man, is about where I've been and where I'm going. Nice, I like that. Dope. Right. So what was um what was one of the songs or or the moment that you decided that you you loved hip hop and this is what you wanted to do? Well, I mean, uh it was a different, you know, because love and hip hop came from before it just me deciding what I'm going to do. You know, the, 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 when I was in the third grade in 1987, Jazz Jeff and the Fresh Prince had a tape called He's a DJ, I'm the rapper that really was my conduit into hip hop in a special way. Because previous to that, a lot of the rappers that, um, older relatives of mine, particularly my, my older aunts, Lisa and Lee, were listening to like Big Daddy Kane you know, Boogie Down Productions. Um, I couldn't access them. There was a lot of adult content going on. You know what I mean? It wasn't really accessible to me or that I didn't relate to a great deal. But um, but but Jazz Jeff and the Fresh Prince, you know, I related to a lot of that content. I had a lot of energy. So that became, you know, uh, uh, after that, I had my access point. I was able to listen to LL, able to listen to, you know, other, other people. Um, but uh so that's really when 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 my love for hip hop really took hold but uh when i was when i was 26 um i i i've been a i was a pothead for probably about 8 years you know probably from the age of 18 to 26 um smoking every day being high all the time and um and i always was able to rap and loved it but i didn't really you know i always thought of it as just something that i was capable of doing when I was high. So I never really had the confidence in myself, but I did tell myself time and time again, if only this, would, if only I could really do this, this would be what I did. 
Um, so when I was able to 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 put to to stop smoking in August of two thousand six, and then I wrote when I wrote my first sober rom in December two thousand six. That's what I really think of as the beginning of my career. That was the first time I was like, oh wow, I actually am capable of doing this. And 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 you know the silver line, and, or, or interestingly enough, those eight years of of doubting myself uh, instantly became you know, instant confidence. Cause really every single day I had told myself, if only I could do this sober, this would be what I did. So once I saw I could do it sober, there wasn't really a whole lot of decision making I needed to make. So like you talked about like uh, uh, that early influence there that the uh, DJ uh, Jazzy J, you know, it's sort of lighthearted, right? Um, so like did that, and then <laughs> you can, um, Big Daddy came and had the more adult subjects. Did that uh, influence like the music you make now, which is sort of, it has sometimes had a lighthearted feel, but it also has heavy subjects. Yeah, I think absolutely. You know, um, the Fresh Prince, you know, was 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 having fun. You know what I mean? And he wasn't at all, uh, 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 you know, uh, nervous about being silly, talking about, you know, making jokes or, or you know, uh, talking about personal things that, you know, were, you know, embarrassing, like songs like Paris don't understand, you know, it's kind of like, look at this, you know, uh, funny anecdotal stuff. I mean, some of that stuff is obviously creative and imaginative. Um, but, 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 uh, yeah. And, 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 you know, not at all worried about smiling and happy smiling and, 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 you know, um, and yeah, those other dudes, you know, I mean, I named those dudes, I, you know, I, I learned from all of you know, KRS, I, I, I did a song called uh, called No Beef, you know what I mean? Which is, you know, definitely a a, a, a descendant of, of the KRS song Beef, you know, what a relief, you know, or I think this is just called Beef, but but like them other, you know, like um, I learned from all the people that I named, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, for sure. But you know, that, that comfort with being happy and not always, I, I do think for me, like, you know, my energy is, you know, uh, uh, it's my energy, you know, I'm, I'm grateful to God that I'm able to cultivate and have had a life such that I, that I'm able to cultivate a, uh, a, a friendly energy, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I'm thinking of a better word to say it, mm -hmm. but I mean, that's just, the, that's just what it is. You know what I mean? And, and I guess it's, you know, the, the 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 fact and the truth is that a lot of the rap I was listening to coming up, that wasn't really the energy it was cultivating. There's a whole lot of yo whack, I'll kill you, you know, like a lot of and I listen to it and a lot of it is is very, you know, people, you know, a lot of talent is flourishing, but within that is a lot of, you know, combativeness and divisiveness. Um which uh, I'm grateful, you know, which is not what I'm going for. And I didn't get that, you know, I didn't get that from Jazz Jeff and the Fresh Prince, you know what I mean? Um, which was the first people that I really loved. So I think, I think, I think that did influence me. You know, here's, a, here's somebody having fun. Here's somebody who feels capable of rapping about whatever it is they feel like rapping about, take something mundane mm -hmm. and make it fly, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, 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 you know, it's not somebody who's always out you know, trying to trying to show how tough you know how tough he is. You know what I mean? I've I, you know I went to school in Philly. I went to I went to to uh, to Pennsylvania for college, and um, you know I talk, and, and I heard stories about uh, the Fresh Prince. You know what I mean? Uh, I, mm -hmm. I built with people, and 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 cats would go to say he's soft or whatever because he's not out there trying to be as hard as he could be. And I heard stories about how he would say, "Oh, word." Let's rhyme, and he would, and he would set it on cats, and they couldn't rhyme like him, you know. Mm -hmm. And I find that stuff very relatable, because, um, you know, I too have had people look at me, you know, as if they're not sure how to quantify me, um, and 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 look at my rhyme as a, you know, I was I was talking to to my lady the other day. She said, you know, it's a cape. The rhyme is a cape. You know what I mean? You put it on, and um, you know, my rhyme has been a cape for me. That's allowed me to you know, sidestep all of, a lot of that machismo and bravado that, you know, I, I find myself within. 
yeah i i find that your um your music it, it really does it just makes people happy i listen and i just automatically felt better that's that's a, that's a blessing all the glory be to god for that so and and um no beef is my favorite song off of that <laughs> yeah <laughs> Big shout out to my boy Aesop Garbology is his new tape. It you was I, I love I love that I love that song. No doubt. I'm glad you did, yeah. Yeah. And I listen I listened to that song and see I grew up on a farm. Mm -hmm. So Kyle in was, Texas Kyle was a part of our <laughs> Crows was a part of our thing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it was, it's always interesting because because I grew up on the farm to hear other people's perspective mm -hmm. on, um, on the, the livestock part of farming. Mm -hmm. um, your, uh, can I, can I speak to that for a moment? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I, I was talking to one podcaster recently. He has a podcast, um, known as kicking it with the conduit. And we were talking mm -hmm. or, or, or something like that. Um, uh, uh, and, and we were talking about what it is about an interview that I feel makes the interview worthwhile or worth doing. You know what I mean? And, um, and and I just talk, you know, just something as simple as 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 listening to a track of mine, no beef, and recognizing that I have my own ideas, thoughts about you know owning cattle, eating beef, and you know what I mean, and what that's all about. Because um, that's what I want to talk about. That's why I talk about it in rhymes. You know, there's all types of things people make art about that you could tap in and access, uh, 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 you know, and discuss. That's I. I I don't, I, you know, we, we start with a couple of questions about name and, you know, da, 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 but I want to, I want to quickly begin to get into, you know, the way I see the world. Cause that's what this is about. You know what I'm saying? But it's important for me with a track like beef to talk about the way I see the world because mm -hmm. of the, uh, 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 it isn't, it isn't at all any type of disrespect or even judgment of people that don't see it the same way. Or if somebody who grew up with, you know, you grew up on a, on a farm with, cows or whatever i think particularly with the with the with the i if i have something that i'm thinking about mm -hmm. well i mean i want to share everything i do but particularly mm -hmm. viewpoints that i have that other people may not think about that other people may not have because i feel that options are what creates richness okay so it's less about me being like yo you know sp grew up with cows she's horrible you know what i mean it's less about that than me being like yo i'm not about owning cows yo me i'm not about eating meat and this is why because that makes it a, re a realistic option for somebody to then determine hey i never even thought about not eating beef here's a cat that don't eat beef let me think about that you know what i mean so so i think artists coming through and 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 authentically presenting their viewpoint opens up worlds. I was reading one book. I can't remember what it was. I don't have it in front of me. But dad, hold up. I think I might have mm -hmm. even. I don't take too long. I, I got the. I got the. My phone is all filled with quotes from different books that I've read. But um. But he was saying this. This author was saying the artist is there. You know, we build the world. It, artists build worlds realities you know because it's information but it's a special information creative information is different creative information artistic information is different it activates different synapses you know what i mean like right and I, well and that's i i mean I, I guess i'm going off track but i just wanted to say it's no you're about, not no, no you're not you're there, you there, there brother stay yeah, here brother no, you're there. all i want to say all i want to say is, you know i talk i speak on i speak on you know i'm very comfortable speaking on how i feel whether it's commonplace or not commonplace but i don't never want it to be divisive you know what i mean i mm -hmm. just i want to present my way this is how i get done you know 
Right. Sort so of I'm, glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that you like that track, even though you grew up on a farm with cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we kind of feel the same way because I re really, our next, our, my next question was about you being a vegan. Because I've, I'm, I'm always so interested in understanding the benefits. Because I, just hearing people talk about it has made me cut beef down to maybe once a week. I've cut pork down to none. I've cut, you know, I, I'm slowly making my way that way, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's always interesting to hear other people's um, thoughts. So, what made you become a vegan? Um, I've been, I've been, I've been dabbling, and I like, I like to say plant based now. You know, because mm -hmm. because um, cyanide is vegan. You could, you there's a bunch of things you could ingest that aren't meat that mm -hmm. that 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 are not. So, uh, particularly with these days, with all the you know, there's a lot of stuff coming out the Beyond Meat coming out there's all these substitutes now and they're not meat allegedly but it's like i don't want you know i'll eat some of those from time to time i'm not saying like i'll never eat them but i like to i like to use the term plant-based it's actually come from a book i read called the china study they're mm -hmm. talking about plant-based whole foods is really that's i'm in a plant-based whole foods you know what i mean so you know i'm not i'm, I'm I like to eat plants a lot. I like to eat grain a lot and nut, you know, I like to eat different types of nuts, different types of seeds, you know, so so it's it's less about what I'm not eating, more about what I am eating. So I'm eating stuff that, you know, that 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 grow, you know what I'm saying? Um um so that's the one thing and then and it's you know, and and I've 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 dabbled in, you know, different dietary things all throughout my career like, you know, 2010 the good son I was kicking rhymes more reasons I'm raw vegan or organic. You know, in 2014, 2013, I had Fat Belly, which was a all, you know, every everything in that song is is vegan. Um, and all the foods I named, you know, because I was but but most recently in 2020, in February 7th of 2020, um, I got the transmission, you know, to to go back to plants. And I was dealing with uh serious physical um unhealth at that time. I actually had a, a skin condition that, you know, is dubbed psoriasis, you know, um, I guess in the medical, you know, and I had it all over my body. It was very, very severe. Um, I don't, I think it was tied, enough, tied to other things in addition to my food, you know, um, definitely tied to personal choices I was making and uh, thoughts that was in my head and frequencies that I, you know, it was definitely, I believe in frequency, you know what I mean? Um, but I believe that food is very, very tied into that, you know? So, 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 uh, for me, um, you know, since then I'm, you know, I've completely healed from, from, uh, from the skin condition, but beyond that, um, I feel my music is better. I feel my verbiage is better. My relationship, you know, I'm in love, you know what I mean? My whole life is better, but I believe that, what we eat and digest, uh, what I eat and digest for me is a major toggle to the frequency that I'm emitting, the things that I'm attracting, the things that I'm creating. You know what I mean? Um, so, so I think that all bodies are different. You got a body, I got a body, Morgan got a body, Nev got a body. You know what I mean? And, and you know, I, I, I read things and I research things, but I feel crazy better when I eat plants. That's why I eat plants. I feel crazy better and my whole life is crazy better. If that wasn't the case, I wouldn't do it. And I'm not, I, don't, I think that people need to, I think the only knowledge comes through experience. I don't believe none of this stuff that's, you know, I read all the time and I mention that just because I'm looking for stuff that resonates with me. If it don't resonate with me, uh, you know, like I don't believe nothing just because it's written down. You know what I mean? I, 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 I you know, I'm, I'm glad to hear that you're, that you're uh, experimenting with diet because through that experimentation, you will find out what works better for you, what works right for you with your body and with your chemistry. You know what I mean? Cause we all different. I'm, I'm not at all a believer in the uniformity of the body or the, uh, this is what's best for everybody. You know what I mean? Everybody's different. You know, I, I was with a rapper Decker yesterday. He was telling me about how he doesn't eat meat, but he still, you know, uh, uh, eats, uh, 
you know, cheese, but just just cutting off red meat. I actually still eat fish. And I was wondering, how come people, nobody, how come nobody thinks that fish is meat? A well, fish is an animal, got eyes, everything is swimming around. It's kind of a disrespect to, it don't even get to be called meat. You know what I mean? But I do think it's different from other meat because it tastes good on its own. Like if I just went and bit a cow, it's not going to taste like just going and eating some sushi. You know what I mean? But this is all besides the point. But my point is, um, for me, it's, you know, uh, uh, uh it's hands down that this improves my life, you know, and this improves my energy, you know what I mean? So so it's a very easy choice. And, and that's why I would encourage others to give it a shot and see if it improves their energy. You know what I'm saying? There's a there's a there's a sociologist, um, I forget his name, uh Peterson, uh not sociologist, uh philo- uh 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 is he a philosopher? Whatever, I read a book of his, and he talks about he only eats meat. He's like, yo, I eat meat straight up. And he says a lot of small things. I don't agree with everything he says at all. But he definitely says a lot of starts, you know, a lot of stuff that I agree with that resonate with me. He said, all eat is meat. Good for him. Seem to be working out. They um you mentioned you, you mentioned drink uh dairy product, cow's milk or something like oh, that. Oh, cow's milk. Cow's is, milk. Well, yeah, yeah. That record, that record. Um, on Helitu is, you know, the whole concept of the record is, is the Chai Jitu, which is, which is, mm-hmm. you know, the yin and yang symbol, you know, that you'll see that'll have, you know, the yin, it's like the both sides, the duality symbols mm-hmm. is called the Chai Jitu and me being on Helito, um, and the Chai Jitu, that's where you get the, the, the thing on Helitu, you know, and I wrote that song, Cow's Milk, um, mm-hmm. when I was drinking Mad Cow's Milk, I wasn't, I wasn't playing bass at the time, but if you look at that record, the energy. There's three songs on the, the, the. There's three songs on that out on that EP that I did when my energy was either going in a direction that I don't like or already there. And mm-hmm. that was West Coast, Cow's Milk, and FYI. And then there's three songs that I did when my energy was either moving in the right direction or or where I like it. And that's No Beef, Go Hard, and Lights Team Baby. And mm-hmm those i think if you listen to them like it's like different it, it's like the, you know and that's why i put cow's milk right next to no beef on the on, that's why it's that way in the sequence just to show the duality you know but but it's, it's not do like it's duality because they're both me but just to show the contrast and the juxtaposition um you know of 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 you know that that's that's really the folk you know that's that's the theme of the album so here you have this dude, Cow's Milk. But if you listen to Rhymes to Cow's Milk, I'm saying a lot of spiritually, you know, uh, you can tell my spirit is weaker. You listen to the Rhymes, you know what I mean? What's this kid? This is not as, like, you know, I, I write so much. I write so much that, you know, there's technical things. And, you know, I'm a creative person. I think I'm going to be, you know, my least favorite album is an album called Dusty. So, uh, and, and even when I did that, my spirit was very weak and I was in a trans transformative phase where I was at a low point spiritually, you know, um, there's still going to be a whole lot of technical, uh, and creative things about that record that artistically I think have merit, you know what I'm saying? But as far as the frequency coming through. So you could listen to cow, like cow's milk has an ill flow to me. You know, I love the flow, and you could still, you know, the beat. Aesop did that beat and his flavor. Cow's milk. People hit me down with their little cow's milk. Shouts to that. I was drinking a lot of cow's milk. I thought it was funny, whatever. But if you put them rhymes next to the rhymes, like take a, a joint like Go Hard. You know what I'm saying? Which is another up tempo joint. Like those are probably the two most up tempo joints on the album. Cow's milk and Go Hard. But cow's milk. The ROMs, those ROMs ain't important. I don't feel them ROMs is important. And the go hard ROMs, I feel are important. You know, that's what I want to do. I want to always not only be kicking fly ROMs, but I want them to be important. You know, uh, not just showing. I don't want, if it's just showing, oh, look, you look what I could do. You know, that's just, look, you know, that's feeding my ego. That's, that's, that's all about me. You know what I mean? Yeah, for for some reason, that's what I I was actually going to ask you also about cow's milk. It um, 
it kind of it it, it kind of sounded like a a a little bit of a a battle with yeah, yourself. Yeah. yeah, that whole record, that whole you know the the the. I mean, the battle with myself is ongoing, and you can you know you could you could you know maybe that's what life is all about. I'm trying to I'm trying to uh, uh you know my 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 boy against Dean called it. Mm-hmm. walk as closely with the creator as possible you know walk you know i'm trying to walk as closely with god as i can mm-hmm. um but uh you know but but at that cow's milk time i definitely my energy was definitely in a decrepit place yeah um you know so so i'm not i'm not surprised that you you know was able to pick up on that you um you definitely have a lot of like spirituality um, is there like um, a like? Do you have like um, a religion you follow, or is there? Is it just sort of, sort of just spiritual? I mean, how how would you describe that? Um, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't follow a religion, you know. But um, but I do. Re- I'm reading right now. Uh, you know, Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis. You know what I mean? I wrote a rom <laughs> yesterday. Uh, uh, you know, um, live as Krishna permits, every dish is delish, you know what I mean? Which is taken from uh, Hinduism, you know what I'm saying? I study, I study, I believe there's a lot of truth in religions, you know? So I, I, I like to study truth, there's you know, many, 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 many paths, one truth, you know what I mean? I mm-hmm. actually, mm-hmm. my boy Doc Kim, uh, put me on to, um, to a, to a metaphysical uh, uh, teacher by the name of Florence Scovel Shin. Um, you could listen to her online. She's got a book called The, the Game of Life and How to Play It that I've been listening to, audio book. But, mm-hmm. um, but she uses Christianity and a lot of, you know, uh, uh, Joel Osteen is another person who uses Christianity as the jump off point um, for saying a whole lot of things that I think are true. You know, another, we, uh, uh, Dati and I, we listen to Abraham Hicks sometimes on YouTube. She doesn't use Christianity, but it's the same, you know, the themes of faith in God, the themes of, you know, so I believe that, and, you know, people talk about, you know, the big four or five, you know, Christianity, Islam, you know, uh, Judaism, Hinduism, maybe Buddhism, or there's the ones that people, but there's so many more. Mm-hmm. There's so many more. And, and, you know, I like to read about, uh, 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 you know, Native American religion. Actually, the Native American, I really do. I, if I don't know who's going to be, I need to put my 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 phone. Uh, my phone. Do I have this? Am I going to find this? I have to put my phone things in order because I'm a, I'm a spiritual person, and um, and the 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 closest the the closest. Dad, let me see something. Hold on. Is it here? Dag, I, I'll take this whole time looking up this thing. Oh, wait, I might find it right here. Boom. <laughs> um, the closest writing that I've ever felt that really resonates with me as far as how I see the world and how I, or how, you know, I believe in God very much. And I'm very, I believe everything is God. This talk is God. I just want to remind myself every day that everything is God and I'll be fine. I'll be great, you know? Um, but this is how I feel. And this is, this comes from a book about, uh, I forgot what this book was called, but it was about Native American spirituality. Uh, so I guess I'm a ritual-based person, you know, according to this. This is the first thing I ever read. I read about all types of religions. This is the first religious-oriented, even though there was no, according to this book or another book I read, there was no word in any of the Native American languages for religion, or oh no, for God or art. There was no yeah. words for God or art. Now, some people will say, uh, you know, I I read something else and they were like, the more words people have for a thing, the more important it is to them. You know, like if you go to some Eskimo territory, they'll have 50 words for ice, just shows how much ice is, you know, on their mind. However, the way I see it, not even having a word for art or for God means there is no separation between me and art and God. You know what I mean? So I'm not surprised to hear that. Because I don't have, I don't need a word for God. That's everything. That's all the words. All the words of God. I don't need a word for art. This is, 
creation creates it. So, so these are all encompassing things. So, so within that framework, I'm not surprised that 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 uh that this makes sense to me. But it says ritual-based cultures are founded on the primary assumption that the universe is alive and that it is supernaturally ordered. That is, they do not perceive economic, social, or political elements as central. Rather, they organize their lives around a sacred metaphysical principle. If they see a cause and effect relationship between events, they would ascribe the cause to the operation of non-material energies or forces. They perceive the universe not as blind or mechanical, but as aware and organic. So that's that's the closest, you know, whatever religion that is, that's the closest one to me. You know? Nice, I like that. I I kind of want to get get to to the humor in your music because I grew up, I am of a certain age. So when I first started listening to hip hop, hip hop was fun. It was um, dancing. It was um, playful. It was your mama jokes. It, you know, it was, <laughs> you know, Domino and Rob Bass was right up there with KRS-One mm -hmm. and and Rakim. Mm -hmm. You know, they were all our, it, they were all great music. I love Double Dutch Bus just as much as I loved anything else. Mm -hmm. They might have so, up on Double Dutch Bus. I got to research that. <laughs> so, but your lyrics are are um, talking about heavy topics or or sometimes even controversial topics. When you how do you approach those topics and still manage to make it make you feel so good when you leave? Um, well, first of all, I like to say, you know, I don't want to allow and I do not allow. Uh, you know, I, I know, you know, Rob Bass and Easy. I know that there was a time, you know, I'm 41 years old, you know what I'm saying? And been making, you know. When I was listening to records, uh, there was when I grew up, the rap that everybody heard was very, very diverse. You know what I mean? So you had tribe, you had native tongues. You know what I mean? You had N.W.A. You had Boogie Down Production. You had Cool G Rap, was a you know a gangster rapper. You had, you know, you had all this variety. You had, you know, uh, 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 the pro, you had Kwame. You you you, you know you had all the some people are having fun. Some people are not having fun. Some people, you know, and I think that's a presentation because I believe that's what people are like. People are diverse. People have, you know, even within every one person, there's variety. And definitely within a group of people, there's variety. So people thought of hip hop as, oh, this is fun because they would see people having fun. They would see Kid and Play coming out. You know what I'm saying? They would see, you know, uh, 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 people having a good time, you know? Uh, I don't think the good time has been taken out of hip hop. I think that the good time is not what's put in front of everybody as much as it used to be. You know, um, there is, you know, uh, 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 you know, the, 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 the happiness and the fun and the joy um, is not broadcast uh, the way it used to be. And I think that's purposeful and you could listen to my records and, you know, I think, I think that, you know, I think that happiness and love is the answer. And I think that if you can, have people listening to music devoid of that constantly they're going to be easier to control they're going to be easier to convince that the only you know to do something ridiculous to feel good about themselves will be like a, a consumerist thing or you know whatever people without you know just just like uh just like uh Gamorg said in in the never-ending story when he was talking to atreyu people without hope are easier to control you know what i mean so take a take a brilliant magical art form that takes the world by storm and subtract the love out of it and you have a very powerful weapon but the love is still there i'm happy to be on this podcast you know what i mean um you know i name my boy uh uh, uh funky diabetic a swedish uh uh, uh dj just did a, a blend of all odyssey joints odyssey making amazing music that's filled with a bunch of love in it you know what i mean and 
Open mic, Eagles making joints, Quelle Chris is making joints, I'm making joints, Aesop's making joints, Decker's making joints, Kemba's making joints, Moses Rockwell making joints. There's all this amazing music. It isn't, and you know, some of the people I name, I mean, I think all the people I just named are, you know, the greatest rappers in the world, and I could go on and on. And it isn't based on, you know, the, the music that's popularized isn't always based now on who's the greatest rapper in the world. And it isn't even it's based on what people like when they hear it. Because I could play this stuff with people and everybody would like it and say, why didn't I hear it, you know? Well, you didn't hear it, but you hear it on Powerful Impact Podcast. And you'll hear and you, and if you share it, you know, I'm not trying to, all I'm trying to say is, I don't like to say hip hop was one way and it is another. Because we still all about love and we still all about fun. But it just, you know, the 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 the, the notoriety of that isn't, isn't the same. But, um... That was a major intro to, to, to answering your question. Um, you know, there's a there's a famous phrase, you know, laugh to keep from crying. You know what I mean? And you know, some of the funniest people I know, you know, are people that really have a lot of serious pain going on, and it's almost a defense mechanism. Me personally, I feel I live a charmed life. You know what I mean? But 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 I do, um, I do go to make the choice to be grateful. And I do go to make the choice to be happy. So I feel like I could talk about, and you know, sometimes it's harder than other times to make that choice, but that's the choice I want to make all the time because I always want to be grateful and I always have something to be grateful for. Um, and, and in the midst of, you know, all types of things that aren't the way that they be, you know, if I controlled the universe, which I don't, God does, and I'm sure God's got it perfectly correct. You know, I just don't get a lot of it, which is fine with me. But, 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 um, within the midst of a lot of that, and within the midst of frustration, and the, within the midst of pain and growth, um, for me, it's beneficial to, you know, look on the bright side. Every cloud has a silver line, and keep the humor, keep the yeah. laughter. You know, uh, 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 I, I, I seek to do that as a person, and I just think that's reflected in my art because that does make me. I don't want to feel worse. You know what I mean? I want to feel better. You know, and I don't want people to feel worse listening to my records. You know, I want to be able to talk about stuff that is important stuff that they might already be feeling bad about that I'm already feeling bad about. That's why I'm writing about it, and not feel worse afterwards, and not have them feeling worse either, and even having them remember. You know, even reminding myself and possibly that transmitting that this is a beautiful place, you know, God is God is great. And, and, and you know, and we can really, you know, with the with, with everything the way it is, we can do anything, you know, we just got to believe. Right. So you think it makes people more receptive to what you have to say by making it? I don't know if it makes them more receptive. I actually think that the people that are receptive are the people that are open to that frequency. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, you know, if there are people um, who are in the rap and who are, you know, I, I, I kick styles. This is a genre. This is a type of music. You know what I mean? And I kick these styles and, and, and I have, you know, and if there are people that are into those sonics, they're going to be looking for a frequency. You know, I think consciously or subconsciously, they're going to be looking for a frequency that resonates with them. My frequency is uh, God is great. I got these bars, you know, I'm, in, I'm, 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 I'm invincible. You invincible. This is what I, this is everything about me. This is what I like to eat. This is what I, I like plant. You know, the, 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 the normal world is, 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 is amazing. You know what I mean? Love is the answer. Uh, uh, fun, joy, jokes, you know what I mean? Talent, uh, uh, all these different things. You know what I mean? These, 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 these are my frequencies and I don't think, if people are not open to that and that's not their thing, they don't feel like that's their thing, it isn't gonna make it more, you know, more accessible to them. But people that are like, you know what? I'm looking for something that's fly to listen to, that's different, that's unique. I'm very much about individuality. I'm very much about uh, 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 authenticity. These are my things, these are my frequencies, you know? And and the people that are looking for that, I feel like, you know, yeah, that that's, uh, you know, I got, I got one rom, you know, my whole career is just a mating call, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, I'm putting out my energy and, you know, now, now I'm in love and it feels great, you know, uh, uh, but not even on the romantic tip, just on the tip of connecting with others. My art is a 
not a mating call, but it's a frequency call. It's a call. Yo, this is me. Who wants to answer this? And you know, you answer by listening, and, and we engage, you know, through through, through you know, through that. But but um, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's all just me putting on. My, so I don't feel it's gonna make it less or more. You know, uh, 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 less or more uh, accessible to anybody, but it, it's definitely going to reach the people that it's intended. It's gonna it's intended to reach. I mean, I would love for it to reach everybody, but I know that if I throw out a frequency and people are closed off to it, um, you know, it's not going to get to them, which is fine. But I want to make it as strong as I can so that it resonates with everybody open to it. Let me let me ask you a question, homeboy. This is Brother Nev here. Um, I love what you just said there. Awesome. What do you... You know, like sometimes people have this... These like dreams or notions of a song could change the world, an album could change the world, right? I mean, Bob Marley musicians feel that there's that there's this power in that. How much power do you think is in the power of a song, an album, an artist? Even like I even like let's talk about you know this is gonna be timely whenever this comes out, but Kendrick's new video, uh, was it the Heart Part Five and like how it's having such a powerful impact right now. How much power do you think a song, an album, or an artist can have on the world? Uh, infinite power. I think. Uh, I think, you know, uh, I mean, unlimited, unlimited power. You know, um, I believe in magic. This is magic. This is magic. You know, uh, those who are using it, um, people are using it for different reasons, but it is magic. And, uh, and I, you know, my answer to that, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, Bill and Ted, I, I always used to reference Bill and Ted, you know, I really like the premise of that movie, you know, these dudes, you know, there were a couple of knucklehead dudes, but then they, their music changed the world, you know, I believe, you know, the thing I said to you before about taking the love out of music, bad music ruins lives, it ruins lives. I see cats all the time, you know what I mean? They don't see the connection between what they listening to and what's going on you know in their life and we talk about the world i'm a world you you know we each got our own universes going on you know what i mean and 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 i think that the power of art you know all these people that i name i love to give credit so i've probably named uh, however many rappers producers and you know authors or whatever these people have sent magic to me that has changed my world you know I would like to be like them. I, I, I admire them. And if I'm going to make art and put it out there, that's so, so I believe, you know, make the, make, make, switch from hate to love, switch from fear to faith. You know, that's a hundred percent switch. That's, that's, that's magic. So, so, so. From meat I to believe, plant based. What happened? Oh, from, <laughs> from meat, meat to, plant. to plant based. I'm just playing with you. Yeah. From meat to plant based. No, no, no. From, from, from meat to, to plant based. based. If, 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 if that is what your physiology, you know, open up that channel of, op, of, of possibility for you, that may be a channel that changes your health and changes your life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, from, from atheist to, you know, from faith, I, I call it, I, I like faith to fear. You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause I really think those are the two really opposing diametric forces just, you know, that's going on, but yeah. Un unlimited man I, I believe in that super strongly i mean what else is the why else make art you know i mean i've, I've gone through times you know like when it's i did that album dusty i thought art was just okay fine i used to have all these things about you know art is magic and everything but i realize now it's just you know i rap good i'll make some money rapping da -da -da -da. you know what i mean and that's what was coming through and it was sick i had lost faith you were you were pessimistic and i was pessimistic yeah and and i was you know I had to, I had to, you know, I, I, I was learning lessons. I was learning lessons. I, you know, I, 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 I had to really face after I did that record, I did don't feed the monster where I did so much. Yes, fire. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. And I, and I, that was a pivotal, that the one my two favorite Kale albums, Chris? Kale Chris produced yeah, the whole record absolutely. and yeah, he's fantastic. Fine. And he has a new record out too. I don't, I, I don't even know if I mentioned him. I pre-ordered it. I'm waiting. That song, Alive Ain't Living. You could 
feel that song. Like if you have a live ain't always living, there's a new Quelle Chris single. I think they're on the third single now, but it was the first single of the new record, Death Fame. Um, so much emotion in the song. You feel it so much is pure magic. You know what I mean? So so uh so I forgot what we were saying, but yeah, <laughs> records get it done. Art gets oh, but but yeah, my point is art definitely gets it done. My my last I don't even know if this is a question, but I know you don't like Dusty that much. But... It's not it. Look, I, I love Dusty. <laughs> right, I, cool. I, I, I I reference it's a part it. of the part of the movie. Yeah, it's, it's a part, part of the whole movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From from was it from the boy to the man? Mm-hmm. The grains of sand, brother. As deep as we talking right now, <laughs> pause. As deep as we talking right now, one of my favorite songs by you, which I have a ton, is the infinite P word, pushing the P. Right, so right, P right. U blank 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 Y, mm-hmm. kitty cat. I love mm-hmm. that song. That song makes me laugh every time. It makes me have introspection. Can you please? I mean, it's probably a silly question, but what inspired that song? <laughs> Look, I was in a very lustful, I was in a very lustful state, you know what I mean? And and that's the way uh lust was really I was dealing with some addiction with regards to lust. I think that was tied into my illness too. You know, I know that it was, you know what I mean? Um and you know that that's another jam, you know. When I wrote the jam, I loved it. I thought this is humorous, it's true, it's you know, like this is my jam, mono and stereo produced the whole thing, great producer. Um, and, uh, and yeah, that was my jam, but I don't even do that anymore. I don't even do that at shows at all. Um, even that, if they request it. Yeah. And matter, I've taken like, out my, has I've to taken, be one of the number one. That gotta be like in your top 10. I'll take yo, one dude time. had a whole jacket, man. He had a leather jacket made. <laughs> Definitely. That song. With fur. <laughs> and he came in. And be- Beaver. He, he came in. He had, he had leather patches. Of, of, of lust, like lust symbols, symbol. He had all this lust symbology that he was rocking. He's like, yeah, Yo, you I can't believe you didn't do it. I got the leather joint. Um, I won't do it. I don't like. I don't like that energy, man. I love love. That's, that song ain't about love to me. I say a lot of things in that song. You know, I. I you know, I, I. I. You know, I. I. That's not one of my favorite songs. That's not a song that I want my niece Mia to hear. For, you know, or any of my young, or my, or my nephew Rico. I don't want boy, men or women or anybody, you know, uh, uh, however they identify. The <laughs> I mean, at the funeral, just have a, have a blast, play some hot records. Yeah, don't play that at the funeral. He was about love. <laughs> but, 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 um, you know, the. I want that song played at my funeral. You know, I mean, if I, <laughs> well, then, boom, you got that. You got that. You know what I'm saying? Because look, because look. That's his favorite song. Say what? <laughs> That's SP's favorite song. No lie, she told me that allegedly. Dad, what's a, what's a you know uh, uh, that one? Since I don't do, I don't. Uh, uh, but what's 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 my favorite joint by you though? Honestly, let me say. Let me let me say. Let oh, me say sorry. something. Um, valuing uh, lust and 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 those you know the feeling of. I've I've really made a lot of people sad, man. I've taken a lot of opportunities to be a certain way, you know, that, that, you know, were made available to me, you know, cause I tore or, you know, cause I, you know, I, 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 I've done the wrong thing a lot from being in that mind frame and people sad about, you know, they think about me and they not happy. You know, they think, oh man, I had a, a interaction with homeboy Sandman and didn't leave me feeling happy. Made me feel like less, you know, like he let, he liked it, but, but, but it didn't, it did I want that. I, that's why I don't like that song. That song is about you know. Se- I think sex is powerful. Sex is magical. Sex is, you know, if I was if I was where I am now, beginning to rhyme, you know, I would teach people yo. Sex is magical. It ain't no little meaningless thing. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't no go bang everybody you meet type of thing. You know it. That that you're gonna you're gonna lose your energy that way. You're gonna lose your life force. Uh, my, my, the joint that I like is the joint that's like yo, make love. When it when it when it makes you grow and when it empowers you and whoever you get this this ain't nothing to be trifled with yo all these things going on that song acts like connecting with somebody on that level which is magic yo your joint getting hard that's magic right? you know what I'm saying like acting like that is trivial that ain't trivial right you know and, and, and 
and and and and Cats is out here being taught that women are trivial. That that track is kind of a women are trivial track. You know what I mean? And I don't, I don't, I think that really weakens me. That's why I'm not into it. Oh, well, see, I got a whole different interpretation of that song. Yeah, but I mean? guess it's because it's where you you were at in the moment. Mm -hmm. But being where I'm at in the moment, when I hear that song, I would not have guessed any of that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. I'm because, glad. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed any of that because for me, it is just an acknowledgement of what is. Mm -hmm. And it tickled me because I was like, it's a, it, it, most people think that mm -hmm. in that moment. You, you, I think your mind goes into the spirit and mine was way more baser just acknowledging that this thought these thoughts actually happen mm -hmm. and sometimes they do yeah yeah absolutely absolutely it's all part of the it's all part of the journey you know it, the same way half the tracks the same way half of Angelito is one way and half of it is another way you know there's a similar dichotomy between don't feed the monster and dusty you know what i mean they you know uh, uh one is you know you called it baser you know or, or, or you know it's 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 where my priorities lie what happened like yin and yang like the, the kind yeah, of like yin and yang and and you know it's where my priorities lie and 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 actually i'm glad sp and it speaks to you see art is also a, a two-way street you know what i mean uh uh i'm grateful to hear that you're able to hear that track and not you know, derive any any uh, uh, toxicity from it. You're like, yo, that don't hit me that way at all. I think that speaks to you and how your energy is fortified. You know what I'm saying? Which is great. You know. Um, so, so on the two way street, uh, uh, you know, there's me. Uh, yeah, it's all about prioritization. You know, and 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 right now my priorities are are in a different place, and I like them where they are. Yeah, and I think I listened to it with a different um, kind of ear because I'm listening to it from a 50-year-old woman's perspective. It was like, oh, I remember 18 and 20. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I, I was 39 when I wrote that track. When was this cat going to grow up? Or 38, whatever like, it was. This cat got to snap like, out of it. I remember watching dudes walk down the hallway <laughs> hunching the air. <laughs> If I was 18, 19, all right. The kids got a little to learn. You gotta you gotta grow mad, you know, still running around acting like this kid listen, he listening too much rap. He can straighten up. <laughs> all right. Yep. Um, I was just gonna go back a little bit and uh you you're talking about your mental state at the time that you were doing that. There's such um still like a huge you know stigma around mental health, around taking care of yourself, um, especially in you know your black communities and with men. Um, can you talk a little bit about how your journey through that and, 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 and just to, you know, open it up for other people to talk about? Yeah. You know, uh, doing a track trauma changed my life, saved my life. Doing a whole album, Don't Feed the Monster, changed my life, saved my life. And uh, it's a sad thing, man. It's a real sad thing to be taught the opposite of reality. But it's not a sad thing because then it gives you an opportunity to rise against it all. You know what I mean? Um, but to be taught that I'm not supposed to show any emotion, I got to be tough all the time, it's, it's something's wrong with me if I have sadness, if I have anxiety, if I'm, you know, if I'm dealing with these things, you know, to keep them locked in where they're just going to grow and, you know, uh, manifest in some other way, be it physical disease or some crazy outburst or whatever it is. Um, this is all the opposite of what's true. The truth is, um, we, we, you know, we're imperfect seeking to, uh, I speak for myself and I speak for how I, you know, we are imperfect and, uh, we have to, let me, let me think for a minute. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of. Things happen to me. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of. I get nervous about things. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of, you know, uh, uh, uh worry to work through these these are the challenges this is life you know what i mean and we need to be open and honest with ourselves and each other 
to form a fellowship with one another and hold each other up, not hold each other down, hold each other up. You know what I'm saying? So, so this lie, and I can't, I can't, I can't, it's, it's very saddening, you know, oh, there's, you know, uh, 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 you're weak, you know, you're weak if you go to a therapist, you're weak if you sit down with your relatives and you say, hey, remember when this went on? This kind of affected me in this way. This is affecting me now. I keep going, doing the same thing in my life. I'm going through depression. I'm going through all the things that people go through that they don't face because there's some stigma about actually facing your problem. There's some stigma about facing your, 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 your imperfection and trying to work on yourself. Can you imagine how sick that is? Like this whole world is wild and crazy. You know what I mean? Like complete opposite. Like say, you know, like the, the, the P joint, you know, respect and all, you know, I made the joint. So, so I, you know, it's the opposite. It's the, to me, it's the opposite. The, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the stigma of, of going into self, yo, I read Jung, you know, my, 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 that got me three Jung books for Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Like I read psychoanalysis stuff. This is the most important stuff. You know what I mean? You got to yeah. figure it out. That's what allow you to grow and move forward. You know, the stigma against figuring it out is crazy. How could you convince, but you can convince people at anything. If you put, you convince people to go into jail is cool. You convince people, you know, I, I think there's words that I never, I don't, you, I know I don't want to get into a debate, but if you went back however many years and you said, yo, the word nigga wouldn't even be a popular word if people with brown skin stopped using it, they wouldn't even believe you. They would say that's, no, it can't be brown skin people hyping the word up so that it don't die. It can't be. You know, I think this is crazy. These are crazy to me. But you could hype, you know, you could make a crazy thing regular as long as everybody's doing it. But and I think, I think, I think one of the, I think one of the examples of that is the stigma, the stigma against doing important inner work. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you think sometimes that um, dichotomy is what uh, keeps this this um, tension between men and women? Uh, because men are taught not to be emotional or talk about the things that are going on with them. And as women, that's what we crave is to I, I, I understand. I, I think 100, I think, I think, you know, uh, uh, the more I study and the more I think, you know, uh, I agree a hundred percent that, 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 um, taking away the tools for, you know, I think man and, and woman form create holes. You know what I mean? Like, I believe that, but you know, there's, I think that people found their counterpart and create holes. Man and woman is common oftentimes, but the counterpart creates the hole. You know what I mean? And and detoxification and the the removal of tools and truths about how to form union with others. The 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 the, the results of that are catastrophic. No wonder you're gonna see communities. In complete disarray. No wonder you're going to see people in complete disarray. Their tools for union, which is, you know, completion and empowerment to such a crazy degree, are being removed and are being, you know, poisoned. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, I think having people that don't know how to relate, don't have respect for for for, you know, men that don't have respect for women. We I got a song called uh, uh, Divine Feminine. Here. Oh, another thing too. You know, I, I I love doing podcasts. I appreciate you guys having me on, and this is a lot of fun. Um, but I, I I rap better than I talk. That's a fact. And and I got this song called Divine Feminine. It's not out, but I'll send it to y'all so y'all can listen to it. Um, and it's just about all the things that I would have saved so much time and gone through so much less if I had been taught. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But instead, I was taught the complete opposite. The rappers, I, you know, I listen to Slick Rick, and he taught me crazy things. But I mean, I know that's what he got taught. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
And I, you know, it wasn't just rappers, obviously. You know, I had all these men in my life teaching me these wild and crazy things that really come from a place of sadness, really come from a place of insecurity, really come from a place of trauma. You know, I got I got trauma from my mama. She used to beat me down as if she was the brown bomber. And I love my mother. You know, yesterday was Mother's Day. You know, I don't know if either y'all are mothers. Happy Mother's Day to y'all if you are. But, 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 happy Mother's Day to y'all mothers. Never mother, everybody mother. But if I, if I, if I, if I had got taught the truth, I'll be light years ahead of where I am. But that's okay because I'm exactly where I need to be. Listen, I love y'all. I'm gonna let y'all go. All right, Nev, SP, All right. Morgan. This is a blast. Uh, let me know when this goes live uh, and everything else. I'm sorry to leave. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm not too sorry. I'm not too sorry. <laughs>